Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. Today you are in for a treat. I have a fantastic WW weekly meal prep coming your way. I have breakfast, I have lunch, and I have a really whole food, wholesome snack. I'm planning to take it with me to Vegas. I'm heading there on Friday to meet all of my WW tribe members off of my Facebook group that are able to make it over to Vegas. If you're not part of my Facebook group, I'm gonna put it right there on the screen for you. Definitely head over, join my group. We're just under 9,000 members. It is so positive, fun, energetic, lots of great ideas shared on that Facebook group. So head over and join us. You'll get a whole vlog coming your way of our trip to Vegas. I cannot wait to see everybody, meet everybody, and spend some time with everybody. So this week I made a really good fall festive pumpkin d dish. I made a delicious copycat lunch recipe and that snack. So if you want to see what I have meal prepped for the upcoming week, just keep watching. So the first thing I need to do for meal prep is get my chicken marinating so that it has time to really absorb those flavors while I make my breakfast and the rest of my lunch prep. So for lunches, I'm gonna be doing some marinated chicken along with my salad. So what I need is two breasts of chicken. These are the thick ones. I'm gonna go ahead and slice those long ways to make them nice and thin. You'll also need some apple cider vinegar, oil, you can use olive or avocado, and whatever marinade you want. And I'm gonna go with this brown sugar bourbon because my salad is kind of sweet, so I wanted my chicken to have a sweetness to it as well. And then of course, some water. So let's get this chicken chopped in half and into the marinade. to go into the fridge, get it nice and marinated. Oh, it smells delicious. So I'm gonna throw this in the fridge and we'll get started on breakfast. So for breakfast this week, I'm gonna be having a baked pumpkin chocolate chip oatmeal. Now, let me just tell you how incredibly excited I am about my breakfast. I love anything pumpkin, I love anything chocolate, so this should be absolutely delicious, and you're getting that hearty baked oatmeal. I'm going to pair this with some eggs, so it's going to be a very filling, full breakfast for the Smart Point. So let me show you what is in our pumpkin baked oatmeal. You're going to need some old fashioned rolled oats. Make sure you do not use quick cook oats for this recipe. Use the old fashioned rolled oats. Milk of your choice. I'm gonna be doing this Carb Master milk from Kroger. It's the same points as almond milk, so feel free to substitute almond, cashew, coconut milk, whatever you prefer. You'll need some salt, some pumpkin pie spice. So I'm gonna be using the Dax pumpkin pie spice. As you know, this is my all time favorite pumpkin pie spice. Ever. It is amazing. I love Dax because they are all natural, no MSG, and even better, no salt. So great spices to use before weigh-in or if you're someone that just needs to watch your salt intake because the flavor in these spices is amazing. And this particular one for the pumpkin, it's super clean ingredients. Cinnamon, spices, and honey. And every one of Dax recipes you can pronounce, or spices, you can pronounce every ingredient. So that is always a good thing. So if you're interested in Dax, I do have a 10% off discount code. It is here on the screen for you. Head on over, check them out. They have about 20 different spices. I own every one and I love every one, but I have to say this pumpkin spice is on the top of my list. So I'll be adding some of that. You're also going to just need some ground cinnamon, Vanilla bean paste is what I'm gonna be using. You can also use just vanilla extract, whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna be using the PB2, but this is the powdered almond butter. So I'm gonna substitute this in place of oil or peanut butter, just to kind of enhance the almondy flavor of this recipe. So I'm gonna be doing the PB2 almond butter. You'll need some canned pumpkin, 
some sugar-free maple syrup, and lastly, some chocolate chips. I'm just gonna be going with Lily's. So let's get started on our breakfast. So let's get started on our oatmeal. So we've got two cups here of the rolled oats, and we're just gonna mix everything in a large bowl here. To that, I'm going to add my pumpkin pie spice. I do not measure, as you know. I love pumpkin pie spice, so I add quite a bit generally. I'm also going to add just a dash of salt, and that just helps bring out the pumpkin flavoring and then just a little bit of cinnamon as well since there is cinnamon in the pumpkin pie spice and then we're just going to mix this together get everything kind of nice and combined and then we'll add in our wet ingredients now for our wet ingredients i'm going to add my one third cup of milk and again this is the carb master milk from kroger i'm also going to add one quarter cup of my sugar-free maple syrup I'm gonna add vanilla bean paste in place of vanilla extract. So I'm just going to put in just about a teaspoon of the vanilla bean paste. And then lastly, I have one and a third cup here of the unsweetened 100% pure pumpkin. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And we're gonna give this a big mix, make sure everything is nice and mixed together. And then we'll go ahead and add in our chocolate chips. Now I'm going to reserve some of my chocolate chips to pop on top because I like that look of the chocolate chips on top. Plus it adds that really intense chocolate flavor in every bite. So get your pumpkin oatmeal mixture all nice and combined and then we'll add in those chocolate chips. Lastly is our chocolate chips. So I went ahead and measured out four servings of the Lily's chocolate chips which is approximately 240 chips. So I'm going to add almost all of them just reserve a small amount again for the top of the pancake bake you can really use any chocolate chip just make sure that you're recalculating the points if it's a chip other than lily's because your points may be a little bit higher but there is our pumpkin chocolate chip bake i'm going to get this in a pan and we'll get this into the oven i went ahead and sprayed my eight by eight pan with some non-stick cooking spray we're gonna go ahead and add in this delicious pumpkin chocolate chip mixture. Ah, oh, you guys, I am really excited about this. This smells so good. I can smell the pumpkin, but I can also smell the sweetness of the vanilla bean in there as well as the um, pumpkin pie spice. Oh, yum. So we're just gonna spread this out into the bottom of our eight by eight pan. So this is going to be a thicker baked oatmeal than the traditional one that you cook in either the, what is it, nine by 11 pan or the nine by 13. So this is gonna be a little bit thicker, which is awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and spread that again as evenly as you can. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. I really do, because it smells so good. All right, and then to that, we're just going to top it with the leftovers of our chocolate chips. So just kind of evenly put those over the top, just so you get that little bit of yummy extra chocolate chip in every bite here of your pancake bake. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, there you have it. So we're ready to get this into the oven. It goes in at 380 for about 20 minutes. And then we're actually gonna turn our oven off and keep this in there for an additional 20 minutes while the oven is off. So I'm gonna get this in the oven and I'll be back to show you our completed oatmeal bake. While our bake is in the oven, we're gonna make some almond butter to go on top. So I have four tablespoons of the PB2 almond butter. And then I'm gonna do a spin on Amanda Lewis's recipe. So if you do not know who Amanda Lewis is, definitely check her out on both YouTube and Instagram. I will put her name here on the screen for you. She's amazing. She is a WWer. She's lost over 50 pounds. She's a wonderful human being. So definitely check out her channel. This is actually her recipe. So she does it with PB2, but I'm gonna do it with almond butter. And then all you do is you mix in some syrup now, if you have the really thick syrup, uh, you probably will need to add a little bit of almond milk to thin it out. But you're going to mix in syrup until you get the te 
consistency of peanut butter. And let me just tell you how amazing this is. You guys, this is so good. This is her recipe, something she created, but I'm excited to share it with you guys and also share her channel with you because again, in my opinion, she's one of the best WW YouTubers. So go ahead and mix that together until you get that nice creamy texture of peanut butter or in my case, almond butter. And this is just going to be spread on top of our pumpkin bake when we go to eat it. And it's just going to add that depth of flavor and it's also going to add if you were to use even regular almond butter it would add that extra fat and protein to your recipe but again mine is the pb2 version but it's just really going to add that yummy flavor to my bake so here's what you have is that nice almond butter consistency. So I'm just going to put some saran wrap on this and then when we go to eat our pumpkin chocolate chip bake, we'll add a little bit of this on top. And I do already have this figured into the total points for our breakfast. So I'll get this in the fridge and let's look at this beauty. Oh my goodness, my house already smells so amazing, so full of fall so excited so i just pulled this out of the oven i am going to allow it to cool just a little bit it'll be a little bit easier to cut and then i'm going to go ahead and assemble my meal prep containers i'll be back to show you exactly what i'm having for breakfast and give you the smart points so here are my breakfast you only see four here because i'm short mandarin so i'm going to pick up another bag this week so my other meal prep container only has the pumpkin bake but i want to show you this bake you guys look at this i mean could that look any more delicious? It is full of chocolate and pumpkin and oatmeal. Oh, it sounds amazing. It smells amazing. I did try a little bit. It's super good. So this oatmeal bake, I'm gonna top with that almond butter that we made with this syrup. Again, that was from Amanda Lewis's channel. Definitely check her out and have a couple oranges and I'll probably cook up a couple of eggs and the days that I'm in a hurry, I'll grab a couple hard boiled eggs as I head out the door. So for my breakfast, one sixth of the pumpkin chocolate chip oatmeal bake is only five smart points and that includes the almond butter. So that is five points. My oranges are obviously zero. My eggs will be zero. So my breakfast here, you guys, five smart points. Five smart points of pumpkin chocolate chip deliciousness. Along with that marinated chicken for lunch, I'm gonna be making a copycat Chick-fil-A superfood salad. You guys, I cannot wait for this. This salad is generally really high in points and I'm going to make a WW friendly version that still has all of the goodness of the original. So first let me show you what's in the salad and then I'll show you what is in our maple vinaigrette that we're going to make for our salad. So the salad has mixed kale or baby kale in it. So I went ahead and picked up two bags from Trader Joe's. I wasn't sure exactly how much kale I would need for enough salad for the five days. So I went ahead and picked up two bags. You'll also need some baby broccoli or broccoli knee. So I picked that up at Trader Joe's as well. Dried cherries, again, Trader Joe's. These are the unsweetened. So these are zero points. I count these as zero. There's nothing added to them. They're literally dried cherries. So these are zero. And then also some almonds, and or not almonds, I'm sorry, walnuts. And we're gonna toast those and give them that nice toasty nut flavor. And then for our maple vinaigrette, you're going to need an oil of your choice. I'm gonna be doing avocado oil, apple cider vinegar, sugar-free maple syrup. I have the Joseph's. I actually purchased this off of Nutrition, and I have to say, this is my all-time favorite syrup ever. It is so good. It is seriously the best sugar-free syrup. There is a link for Nutrition down in the description box, so check it out. Click the link. It'll take you to the site. You can peek around. Highly recommend adding this to your cart if you do put in a Nutrition order. Salt and pepper and fresh lemon zest and juice. So let's get started on this copycat Chick-fil-A superfood salad. The first thing I'm gonna be doing for my salad is toasting my walnuts. So I just have them here on a cookie sheet on some parchment paper. I'm gonna throw these into the oven for just a few minutes just until they get nice and toasty. Toasting nuts brings out their natural flavor and makes them taste a million times better. So I'm gonna get these in the oven and then we'll start getting our broccoli chopped up, our lemon zested and juiced. So for a salad, I need to go ahead and chop up my baby broccoli or my broccolini, and then I need to both zest and juice my lemon. So let's get started on that so we can start putting together our salad. our 
our dressing for our salad. So you're just gonna need a cereal type of bowl. To that, we are going to add one quarter cup of olive or avocado oil. I don't have olive, so I'm gonna use avocado. We're also going to add one quarter cup of sugar-free maple syrup. You guys, look how thick this Joseph syrup is. I'm telling you, this is the most authentic to real full sugar maple syrup I've ever found. And it is so thick, I had to make sure I got a spoon, look at that, to get the syrup. I mean, it's insane, and it is so incredibly delicious. So we're gonna add a quarter cup of that. I have two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. We're gonna do a little dash of salt, and we're gonna do a little dash of pepper. And then lastly, we're gonna be adding in about two tablespoons of that fresh squeezed lemon juice that we did. And then we're also going to add in our lemon zest. Now it wants a teaspoon. I'm just gonna add everything I have. I love lemon anything, so the more the merrier. And I'm just going to take my little mini whisk here and I'm going to mix this together. And we have the Chick-fil-A maple vinaigrette that easy so i'm going to put some saran wrap on this and throw this in the fridge while we put together the rest of our salad and then we're going to go ahead and cook up those chicken breasts that we have marinating in the fridge so let's put together our salad so what you're going to need is your baby kale or whatever kale you're using look at these delicious toasted walnuts yum you'll also need your chopped up baby broccoli and lastly, your dark sweet cherries. So I'm actually gonna put everything in my bowl and then we'll package up our vinaigrette separately. So we want a good amount of the baby kale, uh, just as much as you wanna have each day. And remember, the more lettuce you use, the more dressing you have to use. So just keep that in mind as you're putting together your little superfood salads here. But I have my baby kale and then I'm going to take one fifth of my broccoli because I'm actually going to be making this salad for all five days this next week. So I want to make sure that I have enough broccoli for all five days. I want one tablespoon of my toasted nuts. So I'm just going to kind of wing about a tablespoon here of my toasted nuts. And then since these are zero, I'm not too worried, but I do just want probably... I don't know, 10 or so of the dried cherries. And there you have it, you guys. This is the Chick-fil-A superfood salad. Let me show you how we're gonna package up our vinaigrette, and then I'll show you exactly what our completed salad looks like, and we'll start that chicken. So my salads are complete in my little reusable containers. I have one fifth of the dressing. These are great. They have these cute little plastic lids. They're awesome. You don't have to throw them away like the disposable plastic ones. You literally just throw them into your dishwasher. So it's good on the environment. They're easy. They keep everything nice and cold because they are that kind of aluminum steel casing. So I have one fifth of the dressing. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to each of my superfood salads. And you guys, that's it. Look at how amazing this looks. You're getting your veggies, you're getting a little sweetness from the cherries, some protein from the nuts, broccoli, and then that amazing maple vinaigrette. So this is the superfood salad. Let's get our chicken cooking and then I'll show you my entire lunch and give you all of the smart points. So we're ready to get our chicken in the oven. I have my oven preheating to 375. I have my sheet here lined with some parchment paper. Oh my goodness, this marinade sound, smells amazing all right so we're gonna get our chicken put out here on the parchment paper that's just going to help make it a lot easier for cleanup and then our marinated chicken here looks again absolutely delicious it smells sweet and kind of tangy all at once so I'm really excited about that so there is our marinated chicken breasts I'm just gonna pop these into the oven and we'll have one of these each day with our superfood salad Yum, look at this chicken. This looks so good. I just pulled it out of the oven. I'm gonna allow it to cool, and then I'm basically going to just put it into, I don't know if I'm gonna do a Ziploc bag or if I'm just going to put it on a plate and then just pull a chicken breast off every day. That's probably what I will do, but the chicken is done. And I'll be back to show you my lunch and give you all of the smart points. So here's what I'm gonna be having for lunches this week. So I'm gonna be having one of these chicken breasts. 
A couple of these are rather large, so I'll slice it in half and that will give me enough for five days. I count this chicken as one point because I do count one smart point for the marinade due to the fact that there's some oil in there. As you know, there's always marinade left in the bag, so I don't need to feel like we need to count more than one point, but I always like to count one smart point. And then of course I have my superfood salad, my copycat Chick-fil-A with my dressing. The salad with dressing is five smart points. You can't beat that, you guys. You're getting veggies, you're getting walnuts, you're getting vinaigrette with the healthy avocado oil, all for five smart points. So really excited about that. And then for dessert, I'm gonna be having one of my Choco Rite peanut butter cup patties. This is what these look like. There are two peanut butter patties per package. They are 35 calories per cup. So this package is a total of two smart points. You can't beat it. And these are a really good dupe for Reese's. I feel like they taste a cross between Reese's and a Butterfinger, and they are delicious. I purchased mine off of the Protein Wise website. There's a link down below. If you click the link, it'll give you $10 off your first order. So you can order a few boxes of these for free, and you can do a little bit of shopping around as they have tons of WW friendly delicious items. So I'm going to be having one of my Choco Right pe pack of peanut butter cups. Ooh, that's a tongue twister for two smart points. So it's two for my dessert, five for my salad, and one for my chicken. So this is my eight smart point lunch. For a snack this week, I'm going to be having a sheet tray maple cinnamon trail mix. I cannot wait for this. I've been craving trail mix. And again, I'm going to be taking this with me to my meetup in Vegas. So here's what's in the trail mix. First, you're again going to need some sugar-free maple syrup. You know I love this, Joseph's. Again, I purchased this off of Nutrition. There's a link down below. You'll need a little bit of salt, reduced sugar craisins, cinnamon powder, raw almonds. I think these are lightly salted almonds. You could really do either one. Pumpkin seeds and walnuts. So this is going to be a super heavy protein and quality fat trail mix. So let's get started. So to put together our trail mix, it is super easy. You can see here I have all my nuts. So I have one cup of pumpkin seeds, one cup of almonds, and one cup of walnuts. So a total of three cups of nuts and seeds. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of mix that together. We want to make sure that the nuts and the pumpkin seeds are nice and combined. That already looks so good. And to this, we are going to add three tablespoons of maple syrup. I am going to eyeball it. The maple syrup you I have already counted for in the calories and in the points. So I wanna make sure I have enough here to combine all of my nuts together and get that nice sticky coating. So three tablespoons of our maple syrup. And then we're also going to add in a little bit of cinnamon and that's just going to give it that nice maple cinnamon taste. And then of course a little bit of salt and that's just going to enhance all of those flavors. Go ahead and mix that together really well. You wanna make sure that those nuts are covered in the maple syrup. That's what's going to give them that delicious maple cinnamon glaze when they cook. Let's get out our baking sheet, line it with some parchment paper, and then we'll be ready to get this into the oven. So we've lined our baking sheet here with some parchment paper, and then we're just going to spread out our trail mix just evenly here on the parchment paper and get that nice even coating here. We don't want it too much in a lump because we want the trail mix to roast and cook completely through. So just kind of spread it out as much as you can here on your parchment paper. We're gonna get this into our oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes or so, just enough to kind of roast everything through and really get that cinnamon and that maple to mix in well with all of our nuts and seeds. So let's get this into the oven. It is looking delicious. Look at this trail mix. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I just pulled it out of the oven and you can see that that syrup it's kind of sticking together. Oh, yum. So I'm just going to take my spoon and just kind of try to divide it out a little bit. I know that it's going to be clustery due to the maple syrup, which is honestly not a bad thing at all. And then once it is cooled completely, we are going to add in one cup of our reduced sugar cranberries. Now, just heads up, 
that was this entire package of these craisins. So this is about one cup worth. So go ahead and add that in. Take your spoon, mix that together. Oh my goodness, you guys, look at how good this looks. So we're just gonna get this cranberries mixed in really well with our clumps of our nuts with that maple and that cinnamon. Oh my gosh, yummy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide mine out into 16 servings. It is pretty high smart point because you have nuts, which as you know, have a lot of fat, which are actually really healthy and good for you. And then you also are adding in those reduced sugar craisins. Even though they're reduced sugar, they still are pretty point heavy. So this is fairly point heavy, but extremely satisfying whole delicious food. So I'm gonna divide it out into 16 and that's going to keep it a little bit more point reasonable for me. So I'll show you exactly how I'm gonna measure that out and what a serving size looks like. So to measure it out to get an accurate serving size, I have a bowl here on my food scale. I have it in grams and I've zeroed it out. So what I'm going to do is add all of my trail mix here into this bowl and then I will divide the number of grams by 16. So my entire batch of granola weighs 541 grams. So I'm going to take that, oh, so good, and I'm gonna divide that by 16, which is about 34 grams per serving. So what I'm going to do is remove 34 grams of trail mix into a little baggie, and that will be one serving. So let me get this bagged up and I'll be back to show you our granola and give you the smart points, or our trail mix and give you the smart points. So here is one serving of the trail mix. So this is a small bag. I would say that you're getting about a quarter cup of the trail mix or so. And again, I divided mine into 16 servings. So 1 16th, which is about a quarter cup of the granola, is four smart points. It is a little bit high, but remember you're getting a lot of nuts, you're getting some healthy fats, and it'll keep you full. So it's a great four point snack. And again, I'm gonna be taking this to Vegas to share with all of my tribe members. So here are my snacks that I'm gonna be having this week. So first, of course, I'm going to have my Bilt Bar. You know I have this every day as my morning snack. This tides me over until lunch. It's delicious, it's packed full of protein and fiber, so it keeps me nice and full. So I have the Bilt Burner and Caramel Brownie. Just so you know, this one is no longer available. This whole line of burners is not. I just have some left over, so I'm gonna be having that. The double chocolate mousse is so good. If you like chocolate galore, you're gonna love this double chocolate mousse. The mocha chocolate cream, amazing. If coffee and chocolate is your thing, you'll love it. Black cherry, this one is really good. It tastes like a chocolate covered cherry. It's a fairly new flavor of Built Bar. And then the newest one, or my very, very favorite one, is the peanut butter, you guys. This is so good. It actually has chunks of real peanuts in it and thick chocolate coating. So incredibly delicious. This is a new flavor. It is available on their website, so definitely check it out. All of these built bars are three smart points a piece, which is not bad for a protein bar. The peanut butter, though, is four points, and that's because it does have a little bit more saturated fat and calories due to using organic, real peanut butter and chunks of peanuts in it. But it is worth every single bit of that one extra point. Very it's honestly my favorite along with the mint brownie delight so i'm going to be having a built bar every morning if you're interested in built bar my code is here on the screen it'll give you 10 percent off and free shipping amazing that's even included on the sample pack of the built bar so you can't go wrong head over to built bar definitely pick up the peanut butter and check it out and order yourself some built bars so this is my morning snack of course, I'm gonna be bringing the trail mix we just made in meal prep. I'm actually really excited about this. And at first I was like, oh, that's a lot of points, but not really. When you have nuts and sweetness and cinnamon and craisins, I'm so excited. So that's four smart points. And then I've been in love with the new smart cake flavor. This is the vanilla latte. This was one smart point per cake. There are two little cakes in this package here. These are low carb, so they have zero sugar, five grams of fiber, four grams of protein per smart cake. 38 calories, one smart point. The vanilla latte is really good. It does have some caffeine, so it's nice for that little afternoon boost. I nuke it in the microwave for just a few seconds. It's soft, it's delicious, it has a sugary crumb coating. So good. Love, love, love the vanilla latte. By the way, these are keto as well, so if you are following keto or you know someone that is, this is a great sweet treat on the keto plan. One smart point, you guys, can you believe that for a little cake? 
Sometimes I'll top it with a little fat-free ready whip. Sometimes I'll make it into a parfait with yogurt. You name it, I love them. I eat them all the time. If you're interested in smart cakes, my code is here on the screen. Head over to their website and you'll get 10% off your order. So you can't beat it. Check it out. They have tons of flavors. I love the lemon, the cinnamon, the raspberry, and I love this vanilla latte. So that is what I'm gonna be having for snacks for this next week. Thank you for joining me on this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing the three recipes that I shared with you. Everything is so good. That salad, oh my goodness, that pumpkin, Oatmeal is so good with that little bit of chocolate. And that trail mix is worth every smart point. It's delicious and absolutely filling. So I'll be taking that with me on the plane and to share with my fellow tribe members in Vegas. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'd love it if you would take a moment, hit that little subscribe button and that bell. That way you'll get notified whenever I upload a new video. You don't wanna miss out. Make sure you give this one a thumbs up comment down below. Let me know what of these three recipes was your favorite. I'm just curious which one is a must make for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. Stay on track, drink your water, move your body, and we'll see some results on the scale. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.